Hello everyone and welcome back to my RP1 career in Kerbal Space Program 1.12. In this video I hope to unlock solar panels so we can do the solar powered satellite contract. However, we need some more data. We need about 0.6 and so we're going to fly the XL one more time in order to get supersonic data and thereby unlock the technology. However, we do not have a Kerbal right now so we need to hire one. Uh, we lost Robert Richard, unfortunately. Not much courage actually. Uh, not much stability though, uh, but uh, Dabrowski. So I've adjusted it so that uh, we get the ESA mix on the Kerbal Renamer. So uh, I mentioned it in a, a little block of text in one of the videos, but you go to difficulty options, uh, go to Kerbal Renamer here, Kerbal Renamer, and you can choose whether to preserve the original four and there is a don't insult me thing that limits how bad the stupidity is. And then 1951 was what we were on. Rocket Science Nations in 1951. Um, NASA, but yeah, it's complicated. I'm not going to get into it. But uh, NASA, CCCP, ESA, ISRO, uh, CNSA, and Custom. Custom is just e equal weight for everybody. And there's a whole bunch of different names for all sorts of things. And uh, maybe I should at least have a JAXA one here. But anyway, uh, we are on the ESA option. And so we will get that set of names. So who will our next victim be? Um, I can't actually pronounce that name. That, that will be a downside to this. That would Dabrowski. And oh, I guess I'm going to pronounce it American or something. But uh, sure. Let's go with that. Okay, so our new Kerbal is going to need to be trained in the X1 proficiency. I would really like to figure out how to take off with it without busting the landing gear, but that's a secondary objective. Okay, let's try it. Just the point six science, that's all I want. I thought the landing gear had formerly formerly had a tolerance of 150 meters per second, but I didn't feel like we get got to that before having trouble. Uh, okay. All right. All our applicants seem quite old, judging from the hair. Okay, uh, okay. Ah, oh, the small gear base still broke from overstressing. Maybe I should just use the medium one and scale down. Okay, I can't quite sustain that angle. Can do 50 degrees though. Okay, let's try and get past the sound barrier here. I might try a smaller jet to do the Mach 2 contract for the jets, but I'll wait on that for now. We could just unlock the next level of uh, aerodynamic technology, and that'll give us better stuff as well. But we could make this all lighter, we could make it more like an F-104 kind of thing. Smaller wing, smaller body. Preferably with the landing gear retracting. I'm gonna actually turn around towards the space center and then we'll cross the 450 above the space center. Okay, running the experiment and we are passing by the space center as we do so. All right, in theory we have enough, but I'll let it go for a little bit longer. Uh, actually, you know what? We'll we'll turn around again. Let's see if we can turn while maintaining speed. Doesn't matter if we maintain altitude in this case. We don't have the contract. We just want to get the data. Okay, we've turned around at speed. So, we'll get some more data. Oh, I guess the supersonic flight requires it to be above 10 kilometers as well. 
So just the fact that we're going uh, 450 meters per second is not good enough anymore. No. But anyway, we no longer meet the requirements. And we don't have good landing gear, and I'm not going to risk my second Kerbal here. So we, we will use the parachutes. Okay, a little bit fast here. And we might overshoot. Oh, can I turn around? <laughs> Probably inadvisable. Okay. Right. Recover vessel. Um, why don't we refund this one? We we have another one being built, or already built actually. It's right there. Okay, one point three is what we got, and in R and D we will unlock satellite era electronics research, which will give us solar panels, which is what we need. We really need the Geiger counter here but I'll take seven extra we'll have to do some more flying for that okay so now we can pick up the solar powered satellite contract I have to stay up for 14 days have positive energy balance hmm constantly um like on the nighttime side as well? I don't know exactly how that's going to work out. More solar power than it consumes after a two week period in orbit. Well, we'll see. Okay, I'm going to edit this Thorish 3 in the hopes of adding solar panels to it. So we've built some of it, but not all of it. It's got 27 days left, it says. And this is the science core here, and it has 25 watts of power requirement. I'm going to add more EC just in case. We're only researching it though. 4.9 per minute. But that's 4.9 kilowatts per minute. Well, at least we can resize it charge rate. So we want that to be enough obviously. I don't know if they're gonna fall off if we just put them on like this. Now that's 26 watts right there. Hmm. But at any given time we shouldn't have two of them facing the sun one would hope. I'm going to add additional volume, but not used volume, so that the panels have somewhere to attach to. But it won't recharge enough if we just have its requirement, because every nighttime side it'll lose some. We basically need double. We'd sort of better hope our orientation is right. Maybe it'd be good to use the Veronique stage here. And maybe finally a regular fairing, field fairing. Yeah, have the fairing be a little bit bigger so that we can fit the film camera in. Okay, so we don't have a whole lot of Delta V to work with here. Uh, I think we can get to orbit maybe, but it's going to be tight and maybe it won't work out. But the more important problem is that I don't know how to keep the, the solar panels pointed at the sun. And yeah, um, <laughs> that's an interesting problem right now. Because if we're pointed prograde when the sun rises, we're not going to catch any of that sunlight at all. Uh, but eventually we'll catch it on our side and that'll be fine. But then as it sets, we'll lose it again. So we're not going to get the best possible coverage. We'll have to see. We'll see how close we are with this. I think uh, it's going to take a few tries maybe. So we will build this though. 
and we'll see how it goes. So first rocket with a proper fairing on top. This will be a Thorish V because it's uh, the Veronique as the second stage. And it fits everything. Yeah, uh, we'll use this one and we will... We're basically building it from scratch, but I'll say so, save edits. Uh, oh right, the static solar panel. Um, right, uh, okay fine, that cancel edits, we're still researching that. I jumped the gun a bit. Uh, we might as well just make a new one. I've got a lot of funding. With all this time warping, we've accumulated quite a lot up there. Maybe it's time to unlock some extra stuff. But anyway, let's launch this first. I was thinking about the AJ-10, the early AJ-10s. To replace the Veronique. But it's sort of getting too Thorish at that point. <laughs> uh, it's not as unique and not as European, darn it. Okay. But the Veronique does not have much burn time and not much uh, room for improvement, so we're at the top end of it right now. So yeah, anyway, throttle up, SAS on, and ignition. Oh, the engine failed. Oh, well, that's a rare one. Okay. And hopefully just saying save edits. Oh, that's sort of buried there. Save edits will do the trick. It takes two hours. That's just fixing the engine. Okay, SAS on, throttle is up, and ignition. Well, that's better. Yeah, going into a polar orbit would be nice for catching the sun, but I don't think we have enough delta-v for that. Oop, that's a little bit too shallow. These early solar panels are apparently not light. Okay, looking good. Tremendous g-forces on the way. Okay. Well, not quite 200 kilometers, but it's okay. All right, mm, we'll throw all down, separation, ah, oh, oh, but we can stage those off. Hopefully we've got avionics now. Was it just those or no? Oh no, what did I increase the size of? I did increase the avionics after, uh, after I gauged it, but apparently something went bigger. Well, that's a bit of a problem. How much heavier are we? Not much. 3.057. Yeah, no, we dumped too much water, but it's no good. Uh, I'll just fire them just uh, for the heck of it. But we're not making orbit like this. The soul panels are not recharging enough. But we do have the big core here. Here. Okay, separation and ignition. Wasn't too far off, but still off. Um, yeah, it's still got a drain on it, though. It's not 25 watts, but it's something. Okay, so we're going to have to do some fixing here. Oh, actually it occurs to me, we can increase the burn time of this stage. This is uh, not its capacity at all. It uh, It's the third stage, but it doesn't have to worry about just having a single little AJ-1027 on the second stage. So we can make this bigger. I don't know how long we can push this little error be though. Okay, well we really have to redo this control core down here then. Oh, now we're too heavy. 
The most efficient engine is actually our first stage engine. It actually gets less efficient as we go along. The Veronique is less efficient than it, and then the upper stage is even less efficient. But staging is inherently good. So, yeah. Okay, so we'll slightly underutilize this stage, but overall the Delta V doesn't seem great. <laughs> so, maybe we'll try and push a little. AJ-1027 for a little bit longer there. Okay, here we go. Hopefully our more robust rocket. Throw up SAS on. And now we've got some staging issues here. Okay, now that's fine. Ignition. And launch. Okay, well not quite as much thrust weight ratio at the end as it usually has. The upper stages are finally getting heavier. And uh, yep, we're lower than we have been. Alright. Separation. Well, now we have control. Okay, but we don't need to mess with that just yet. Oh, uh, but... Kill rotation. It is just HTP, so we've got probably an overabundance of it. And actually, it will take us a while to do the burns. We've got two minutes. Basically, we should start one minute before Apoapsis, if I could see that. I'm not allowing myself to do the custom window azure, even though I know I can. I think we'll light the Araby immediately when we release the fairings there. I still call it an Era B even though it's an AJ-1027 because that's the model. Okay, well, let's try it. I'll throttle up maybe. And spin it up. Alright, our turpentine motor is going. Well, uh, RCS off, please. We don't want to stop the spin. It occurs to me that maybe we should let, uh, we should have launched at night time, because then our apoapsis, which might be quite high, would end up in the daytime. In this case, our periapsis will probably end up in the daytime, which is not great. Okay. Well, yes, insuff insufficient avionics is correct in this case. I don't know if we have enough. Uh, it'll be tight. I don't think we're going to get that high in apoapsis. Hopefully our pitch is not going to cause problems. Uh, we might have wanted to just be flatter. Zero pitch. Let's see. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, the charge situation isn't great either. Where is the sun? Okay, it's like that. Yeah, well, this wouldn't survive for 14 days anyway. I think we want to do a polar orbit with this. Preferably close to the Terminator. And... This is still alive. Alright, now it's done for. I think as much as I like the Veronique, we might want the superior burn time of the AJ-10 early edition. Um, yeah, so that we can get rid of the little AJ-1027 stage, or still use it maybe. And I'll think about that. We need to optimize our 40 ton rocket somehow, or Thorish. Uh, oh, but you know, we could always get a bigger pad, you know, get boosters and all that. We have some funds now. But, yeah. 
I'm trying to do things fairly tight. We will see. We will see. I'll ponder this. But with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.